teeth. That's what this video is about. In this episode, we're looking at the strangest teeth found in sea creatures. Let's start the list with the squid. I know what you're going to say, but Larry, don't squids have beaks? Well, yes, smarty pants, they do have beaks, just like birds, but there's a certain squid that we've talked about in a previous video that looks like he has human teeth. It's the gob-faced squid, or for the scientists out there, the Promocotuthisulcus. In 2007, a research vessel found one in the Atlantic, and it is the only specimen ever found so far. We don't have any photos or videos. This is literally the only specimen in the world. The specimen captured was an immature female, so we don't actually know how strange a fully grown gob-faced squid looks. Maybe one of you will become a marine explorer and find more of these strange sea creatures. Let's continue with another weird fish with even weirder teeth. The sawfish. Because, well, you can see for yourself why they're named sawfish. Also known as a carpenter fish, these are actually rays, like the manta ray or the stingray. They are among the largest fish, with some species reaching almost 23 feet, and they live in the Atlantic and Indo-Pacific areas. Many species of sawfish went extinct, and there are now five living species, the narrow sawfish, the dwarf sawfish, the small-tooth sawfish, the green sawfish, and the large-tooth sawfish. The first two are endangered, the others are critically endangered. What about their teeth? Well, their snout is made of cartilage, and it is an extension of their skull and is lined with teeth. Like a chainsaw, their teeth are not actual teeth. They are actually fish scales evolved to look like teeth. They continue to grow during the sawfish's life, and they don't fall off and get replaced, like a shark's teeth do, for example. People used to think that they use their saw-like snouts to attack and cut open other fish, but that was found to be a myth. What it actually does is locate prey by measuring the electric fields they generate, because it contains thousands of sensory organs called ampullae of Lorenzini. After the prey is located, the snout is also used to capture the prey, although not like a saw or a sword, but more like a club. Okay, now we're getting at some real teeth with the Goliath tigerfish. Looking at its name, I'm guessing it's a big fish with some really big fangs. Was I right? Yep. He is a predatory freshwater fish and can be found in the Congo River Basin. It can grow up to 5 feet and weigh over 100 pounds. Normally, it feeds on fish that he ambushes in the rapids using his superior strength and those massive teeth. Fishermen in the Congo fear this river monster as it is known for human attacks too. The natives say that the evil spirit Mbenga would enter the fish and make it attack people. I really love cookies. I also really love the cookie cutter shark. A cute little guy, but very dangerous for fish mostly. Rarely reaching two feet in length, they live in warm ocean waters all over the world, especially around islands. They are rarely seen at the surface, mostly swimming in waters two miles deep. The cookie cutter shark name refers to its feeding habits. Using his sharp teeth and gaping jaw, he bites larger animals, leaving round gouging holes as if cut with a cookie cutter shape. The cookie cutter shark is no danger to humans, but his bite marks have been found on whales, dolphins, seals, manatees, and other sharks, stingrays, bony fish, and even submarines and underwater cables. The fang-tooth moray eel, also known as the tiger moray, is a species of eel found in the warmer parts of the eastern Atlantic Ocean, including the Mediterranean Sea. Moray eels are not very big, this one reaching a maximum of 47 inches. The fang-tooth moray is known for two things. One, 
The bright orange coloring on its back with brown spots, making it look like a tiger or a leopard. And two, its massive, transparent teeth. If you think these huge glass-like fangs are scary, just you wait. Because guess what it has inside its mouth? Another set of teeth! If this jaw of sharp chompers weren't enough, the moray eel has another set hidden in its neck for those really hard to chew fish. Next on our list, the hagfish are widely considered the most disgusting animals in the ocean, if not on Earth. The eel-shaped creatures use four pairs of thin sensory tentacles surrounding their mouths to find food, including carcasses of much larger animals. Once they find their meal, they bury into it face first to bore a tunnel deep into its flesh. Although they are jawless, hagfish have two rows of tooth-like structures made of keratin that they use to bury deep into carcasses. They can also bite off chunks of food like the cookie cutter shark. While eating carrion or live prey, they tie their tails into knots to generate torque and increase the force of their bites. To ward off predators and other fish trying to steal their meals, hagfish produce slime. This slime gives hagfish a slippery exit when attacked by predators. A larger fish looking for a meal instead gets a mouthful of slime while the hagfish can slide away. Next on our list, we have the sea lamprey. This freakish looking fish uses a similar tactic to the cookie cutter shark, but rather than a row of teeth, the lamprey has no jaw at all. Its mouth is one big suction cup barbed on the inside with vicious teeth that it uses to bore into the flesh of other fish, either eating them down to the bones or simply sucking their blood, depending on the species. It's something between a leech and the sandworms of the dune, reaching a maximum size of four feet. The sea lamprey is native to the northern hemisphere and can be found anywhere from the Atlantic Ocean to the Great Lakes, where it's actually considered a pest. Chitons, also known as sea cradles, are marine mollusks, small, rather flat, and oval in shape with a hard shell. Number five on our list is this one, the Eastern Beaded Chiton. Doesn't look very impressive, I know, but wait until you see what's underneath. The Eastern Beaded Chiton uses its hard teeth, or radula, which look like black bulbs with bluish lights, to chew and grind up rock in order to feed on algae and other organic material. Unlike human teeth made of enamel, these chitin's teeth have magnetite tips, the hardest material made by a living organism. Using a methodology usually applied to metals, an atom probe has been used to study how these teeth develop with the aim of one day developing a technique to synthesize tougher materials within a laboratory setting. They also have a very particular structure that allows them to self-sharpen to a certain degree. So not only do they have some of the strongest teeth in the animal kingdom, they are also always razor sharp. We're getting closer to the top and we're looking at narwhals. The unicorns of the sea, they are not whales as their name suggests, but actually a species of porpoise related to orcas, belugas, and bottlenose dolphins, and are typically found in pods throughout the waters of the Arctic Ocean. Its most impressive and unique feature, the horn, is actually a tooth. Male narwhals have an enlarged spiral canine tooth which can grow up to 10 feet. The exact purpose of the enlarged tooth is unclear with speculation that it's used for impaling prey or for jousting between males looking to attract mates. Recent research has shown that the narwhal's tusks contain up to 10 million nerve endings, leading to speculation that it has a sensory purpose as well, like the rest of the sea creatures on this list. At number three, we have some horrifying teeth. What creature can this be? A shark or some weird deep sea fish? No, it's actually a leatherback turtle. It is one of the largest living turtles and can reach over seven foot in length. Unlike other sea turtles, the leatherback turtle lacks a bony shell and gets its name from the thick, leathery skin that instead covers its carapace. It mostly feeds on jellyfish and other soft prey. Its teeth are perfectly adapted to catching jellyfish, 
Rather than rows of teeth, leatherback turtles have spikes on the inside of their tomium, the sharpened edge of the beak. These are then complemented with the backward-pointing spines in its throat to ensure that once a prey is captured, it isn't going to escape. Number two on our list is something that looks like it came out of a horror movie. Little is known about the frilled shark. Fossil records suggest it belongs to a group of sharks that has been around for at least 95 million years. Because it usually lives at depth, it is very rarely seen alive. Their long, snake-like appearance is thought to have inspired the tales of huge sea serpents. It also has a large, blunt head and a very large mouth armed with lots of rows of sharp teeth. The shark uses these teeth to catch fish, squid, and smaller sharks. Behind the head are six pairs of frilly gill slits, which give the shark its name. Number one on our list is the pacu, an omnivorous fish found in South America related to the piranha, most famous for its human-like teeth. When you first see a photo of the pacu, you immediately think Photoshop. But no, they are real, but not so dangerous. Pacu are commonly sold as vegetarian piranhas to home aquarium owners. With the proper equipment and commitment, Pacu have been known to make responsive pets. They develop personalities as they grow older and can sometimes recognize their owners. In 2016, fishermen in Michigan reported catching the South American fish in U.S. waters due to many people taking them as pets, then releasing or abandoning them. The Pacu is totally harmless, but those irresponsible owners are more dangerous than any fish. Subscribe now to our channel and I will make your wish come true. If your wish is to learn about marine life, that is. If you have any topic you'd like us to cover, leave us a comment below. I'm Larry and thanks for watching What Lurks Below.